1953, the submarine USS Tunney surfaced off the California coast to perform a top secret mission to become the first submarine to launch a nuclear missile. The missile was called the Regulus, and it gave the submarine the ability to deliver a nuclear warhead to a target hundreds of miles away. The Regulus submarines and their nuclear missiles would be deployed off the Pacific coast of the Soviet Union during some of the most volatile years of the Cold War. It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States. The Cold War was a real war. We felt that at any minute we might be called upon to do what we were supposed to do. The first warheads in the world that were, that were going to go off in a mutual nuclear exchange was a Regulus warhead. Today, submarines provide the backbone of the United States nuclear deterrent. But before Trident, before Polaris, the Regulus program, now largely forgotten, started it all. In 1945, the idea of submarines launching missiles seemed impossible. But because of the vision of a few Navy officers, weapon designers, and the submariners who served on the first deterrent patrols, the Regulus program was a breakthrough that changed the face of the U.S. Navy and stabilized the Cold War. 